But uh, I've got to tell you, something happened this morning. Um, I told Zion when I woke up, I, 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 well, Zion woke up and we, we, I was just about ready to go to church. And he looked at me and he said, um, he said, can I have a bookmark? And I burst into tears. After three years, he doesn't know my name's not Mark. It's Papa. <laughs> Did you know, though, that the Secret Service isn't allowed to yell, get down anymore? Do you know in America they can't yell, get down? They have to say, Donald Duck! Oh. Well. <laughs> I'd like to invite Andrew. Come on up. Come on up, Andrew. All right. Well, for today's part of the program, we're going to invite a couple of the dads to come up. It's the dad joke segment. Being Father's Day, we have to do some dad jokes. And, uh, and uh, self-portrait up there. Uh, took it last night. It was a selfie. Um, so we're going to invite some of our dads. And of course, if you've got a good dad joke, we would, we would, we would like to turn on your mic. <laughs> It's on, it's on. So we'd like to invite the dads up now, the dads that have been prepped, and if you've got a dad joke, you can come too. You don't have to be a dad to do a dad joke, by the way, all right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So this is a heads up for those dads that we haven't prepped. Jump onto Google now, search dad <laughs> jokes, and you too can find the same website that Andrew and I found. Apparently. All right. Apparently. <laughs> Great dad, think Paul, Jim, Andrew, Andrew in a minute. In, in the case that Andrew's not available, we'll invite his son, Sam, who has the best dad jokes, and Ali. All right. So we're going to hand over now. Now, how do we judge the dad jokes today? We've got two factors. Two factors. One is the crowd laughing or booing, depending on, you know, the loudness. And second... <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. And the second is the cringeworthiness of the joke. Okay. So, so do this. If it's cringy, you've got you to let us know. Yeah, that's, that works too. All right. Starting over in the red corner, we have Pastor Father Greg coming. Oh, we, we need to give you a microphone. All right. Hello? Yeah. So uh, here's, a, here's a question for you. Why do scuba divers fall backwards out of the boat? Well, the answer is, of course, that if they fell forwards, they'd still be in the boat. <laughs> 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 so I was at work this week and I uh, offer a bit of horticultural advice to, to customers and a lady's got uh, several plant pots in the backyard and they've all got lime trees in them and the lime trees aren't doing so well so she asked me, she said, uh, how many uh, limes should I get on my lime tree? And I said, all of them. <laughs> 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 Gosh, I'm in the presence of greatness. This is warming up. They're just warming up, okay? It's, it's Actually, I'm gonna, I'm we're gonna breaking the ice. I've got to apologise because Kyle asked us if we, if we come with three jokes and I could only think of two. And uh, one of the reasons is I had the weirdest dream last night. I dreamt that I was a muffler and I just woke up exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> then, I, then I came to the front door to come into church this morning, did anybody else see that guy that was laying across the face of the door? I think his name was Matt. <laughs> <laughs> the lady who greeted me in the foyer with one leg. I think her name was Eileen. Oh, no. <laughs> and to top it all off, her husband was standing there with his brand new Father's Day shovel. His name was Doug. <laughs> but Jim, Jim... We were doing baptisms, and, and there was a guy in the pool. Uh, what was, do you remember his name? Bob. No arms and legs. What was his name? Oh, he was Bob. Oh, he was Bob. The guy with no arms, no legs, uh, who, but what about the one in the hole? No, 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 no. Phil. I'm a young dad. He's an older dad. All right, Al. Uh, a very good friend of mine um, used to be a bus driver. And he said he had to resign. He just felt there were too many people speaking behind his back. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Paddy went to a uh, faith healing meeting last Thursday night. 
he caught up with Mick the next day and Mick says, how was the faith healing meeting, how was the faith healing meeting on Thursday night? Paddy said it was hopeless. He said, even the guy in the wheelchair got up and walked out. <laughs> so I, um, I went down to the doctors the other day and I said to the doctor, have you got anything for wind? And he gave me a kite. <laughs> I can't, I can't think of one anymore. Ari's just telling Dad to sit down now. That's what's happening here. He's pleading with me to sit down. So here's a parent idea. Parents, fathers, take your baby into the forest and take pictures of you pulling him out of a spacecraft. Then have the pictures developed and put them in a box in the garage where he can discover them at the age of 10. <laughs> is that, hang on, hang on, is that, is that what? <laughs> anyway, uh, last night I heard that Kyle and Tash had an all night um, back to back DVD session. And he said to me this morning, he says, very thankful that he was the one facing the TV. <laughs> <coughs> oh. So I was watching the news uh, last night in the World News and an article came up about France and it was about a, a cheese factory explosion and they asked the reporter uh, what happened and he said, I don't know, all that was left was debris. Oh. <laughs> And this morning, uh, before we came to church, Sebi came to me and he said to me, Dad, can you put my shoes on? I said, no, son, they won't fit me. <laughs> <laughs> they're actually really good. <laughs> they're, they're <laughs> and she was just looking around to see if the um, Baked Bean family was here this morning. <laughs> They've been touring around Australia, you might have heard, but um, last I heard, they were in Cairns. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I think being Father's Day. I think being Father's Day is really important to impart some wisdom. So here's a question for all the dads who love to get you know uh, gifts from places like Bunnings and, and and stuff like that. But the thing is, why is it not wise to make friends in a hardware store? Because the place is usually full of tools. <laughs> That's great. One last one. Um, Paddy was going to a very, very important interview. And it was in a small town. And he was actually running very late. But unfortunately for Paddy, there was a conference on at the same time. And there was no car parks anywhere. So he was driving around and he was getting very frustrated. And next minute he started talking to God, he says, God, listen, I know I haven't been to church for a long time. But I need a car park urgently. I'm very late for an interview. If I, you give me a car park, I'll go to church from now on and I won't drink my Irish whiskey and I'll tithe every week. And just then a car park miraculously appeared. He said, don't worry about God, I found one. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Andrew, uh, I, I heard... Sorry. Yes. Uh, mm. what, do you, what do you call someone without a body and without a nose? I don't know. I don't know. Well, nobody knows. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Have you got another one or is that that's your last one? That's, that's that was your first. Dad. That was the I only one. <clears throat> I'm still trained to be a dad. Yeah. I've got, I've got the dad board there. <laughs> Training required. Yeah, Training required. <laughs> Andrew William has entered the competition. <laughs> what was Adam and Eve's first mistake? They didn't read Apple's T's and C's. Oh, wait, cut. I've got one question. Oh, yeah, yes. If a child refuses to sleep during nap time, are they guilty of resisting arrest? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but if they were my child, I'd probably take yeah. them and I'd be guilty of kidnapping. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good banter there. Yeah, that's a great banter. 
All right, so we have to decide who's the winner. And of course, uh, to take the prize for today, this grand prize of being the dad joke winner of the year, 2019, title only. <laughs> title only. All right. So we got a cheer. So for our number one, now, depending on who gets the loudest cheer, Andrew and I will decide after we hear the cheers. Uh, we're going to start with Father Pastor Greg. And, uh, and can we get a cheer for his dad jokes? There's still some crickets out there, Dad. I, I, I that, that's actually a good sign. That's, yeah. that's, that's more or less. Mm. Yes, because there's the cringeworthy factor as well. So yeah. uh, next in line, we had Pastor Paul Brunton. <laughs> getting some good reviews. Mm. Getting some good reviews. The Latin American community up the back was giving a bit of a... <laughs> Yep, yep, that's right. <laughs> that's it. That was, where is Chachi? Yes, Chachi's there. All right, all right. For Pastor Jim Anderson. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Astounding, borderline breaking the chart, the proverbial chart. All right, and lastly, but not least, oh, sorry, we have a couple of others as well. Alan Graham. Yeah. Top billboards. All right, and, and we, we're not taking credit. No. So, yeah. And Andrew Willian. Woo. Uh, that was a, you got the participants aboard, uh, Andrew. Um, all right. So next part is the cringe factor. So we've gone on humour. Now the cringe factor. Okay. Can everyone give me a big ooh? Ugh. Ooh. All right. So depending on on the floor. <laughs> so, no, no, no. That's demon possession. We oh, don't oh, do yeah, that. That was right. last week. I, I, well, all right. Yeah. So um, we'll, just, we'll be there on the side. Uh, Father Greg will be there to, to minister. So cringe factor for Dad. Oh, cringe factor for Pastor Paul. Oh, <laughs> cringe factor for Pastor Jim <laughs> and Alan. Toilets are at the back if you need. <laughs> okay, well, do we have to go into a decision mode we here. We Can we to, yeah. come here? All right, they were all bad. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, so. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Man. What should we do? We, we, I think we need to go to some of the mums to determine. The we bet. probably have to. All right, we need another judge. Chachi, no, that would be unfair. unfair. Tash, no, that would also be unfair. Who can? Who is willing to decide who won today? Oh, oh, oh. Louise Lakeman, would you please come? <laughs> would you please come to the front? Why, why don't we have a few more objective? Objective these, opinions. Objective opinions. Why don't we have more of that? Chachi, we're going to have you as well. We need an objective opinion and uh, a majority ruling. So could you come as well? We need to hear who has won the day. <clears throat> well, I've known all of these men. <laughs> Andrew, I haven't known you as long, but most of you I've known a long time. And I have got to say that Jim Anderson has always been the best dad joke teller ever. Sorry, Paul. No, no, no. Um, but no, his classic, you know, going to um, McDonald's doesn't make you a hamburger. You didn't come up with that one today, Jim, but, you know, classic Jim Anderson. I am completely impartial. So <laughs> <laughs> completely, completely impartial. I think that the winner should be Paul! <laughs> <laughs> All right, for this we need a tiebreaker. I'm going to invite Stacey. Stacey, could you come quickly, please, and tell us who the winner of today's 2019 Dad Joke competition is? Pastor Jim Anderson. <laughs> Pastor Jim, I would come and give you a wonderful gift, but today you get the title and a holy kiss. Happy Father's Day. Hey, wow. I can't wait to be a dad. <laughs> To get all of that. And by the way, the kids, you, you're not, you, you can't be objective because you, you definitely choose your dad. They're kids. They're yeah, kids. Clearly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. <laughs> See, that was sealing the deal. It was just like, I've won, but now... <laughs> I'm going to lock in for next year, 2020. All right. So now before we get into the preaching, we have one more final thing that we need to do. And this what's is... That, Kurt? What's that, Well, it's a great question, Andrew. I'm glad you asked. That was a great question. We are now inviting a, uh, two families, one father and versus another father versus one child versus another child. Okay. So who would like to participate? You don't know what you're going to participate in just yet. And that's the scary part. There are many kids excited. 
Would you look at that? All right. I have Josh putting up his hand, which means, Kurt, you're dobbed in as well. And he's shaking his head, but, but that means you're in. And <laughs> versing Herbert and... I, I feel like I can't choose. Annalise, can you Prophesied. please decide on, on one of your children to verse? Prophesied. Ashton. All right, let's give let's Herbert go. and Ashton a round of applause. And Josh and Kurt as they come to the front. So what are we playing, <coughs> Kyle? Well, what we're playing is a round of Mario Kart. Hey. By the way, we, we've tested the system and it's pretty all right for multiple hours. All right, let's see if we can get this going. Now, gentlemen, we have to try and get this working. So you speak and I'll Please get this wait going. wait while we have some technical difficulties. So, <coughs> I bought some shoes from a drug dealer. <laughs> I don't know what he laced them with, but I was tripping all day. So, a de oh, we're, oh we, we're starting. Thank God. Not quite. You, I, I think you've got another one in you, Andrew. Oh, yeah, actually, I do. So, <clears throat> so, a dad said, I was just listening to the radio on my way to town. Apparently, an actress just killed herself. And the mom said, oh, my, who? Uh, I can't remember. I think her name was Reese something. And mom said, with a spoon? No, it was with a knife. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have four players. We have Herbert and Ashton, Kurt and Josh, and uh, they're going to verse each other in a versus race. We need our best uh, cheering voices on today, and we need to decide on a team. Uh, on your team, this side, you have uh, Kurt and Josh, and on our side, we have Ashton and Herbert. I'd say So we've got to cheer the loudest for our team. Is everyone ready? Can I hear the loudest cheering voice from our team? What about for Kurt's team? <laughs> A lot of men here. <laughs> Help me. All right. Testosterone. Now, remotes have to be on their side. Herbert and Ashton look like they've done this before, clearly. Um, Josh and Kurt are beginning. All right, so to choose your player, you've got to press that number two button. So who's Bowser? That's it. Who, who chose Bowser? <laughs> oh, Kurt, you chose Bowser? Yeah. All right. Just keep I've pressing no the number idea, two. Though. Keep pressing the number two. Here we go. All right, number two, press, press A, press two. Get yourselves ready. So you All choose the... your, your ride, your wheels, and your kite, or whatever that is that you hang from when you fall. Isn't that a very manly looking player on the left hand side? Well, that's, that's Bowser. That's... Is, that, is that Kurt up on the top left? It's probably. <laughs> Look at those tiny uh, wheels. Is that you up there? <laughs> <coughs> Alright, press number two when you're ready. Okay, so we, oh. let's do some correct character identification here. Char so. Oh, yep. And so, Kurt's, Kurt's probably that big spike turtle. His name's Bowser. Alright, team about. games. Teams, and press A. Do you know who you chose? Alright, on the left hand side... Do you know who you chose? Which character you are? Uh, so we have Bowser. Yoshi. Whoa, whoa, okay, whoa, whoa. Uh, this what, is not what? working. Here we go. So who's Yoshi? Three verses. So who's Yoshi? Okay, we have Herbert as Yoshi. Ashton as Mario. Bowser as Josh. And Luigi. Kurt as Luigi. All right, everyone press A or 2. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> and press A again. All right, fantastic. One of the controllers has just buzzed out on us and Kurt's holding it too manly. So, next dad joke. Here we go. Um, my wife is really mad at the fact that I have no sense of direction. So I packed up my stuff and write. <laughs> it means it's supposed to be opposite of left. Grow a funny bone, y'all. It, uh, it's temperamental. So, next dad joke. <laughs> it's, it's, this is going to take a while. So, um, did you know the first French fries weren't actually cooked in France? They were actually cooked in Greece. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you need Chuck Norris. 
Chuck Norris gives Panadol a headache. <laughs> Actually, that's the only one I know. But <laughs> uh, I've got this one. What's the least spoken language in this world? Sign language. <coughs> well, it's, it's relatively... Well, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's back on. Oh, it's a miracle. Kurt nearly Hallelujah. was defeated by default. All right. That one. That one there. So we're going to choose Mario Kart Stadium? All right. Does anybody here not know what's going on? Okay. Or like we will pray for the spirit of understanding and we just, yeah, we will be right with you. Okay, Team Blue, I think we are. Let's give our loudest cheer again. What about this team? Herbert, Herbert, Her oh, that's a <laughs> All right, so, so this team is on the top left and the bottom left. And they're off. <laughs> and Herbert's team is on the right. Uh, Yoshi's bottom left. Yeah, but Yoshi's... Uh, Josh. Yeah, the, all, all left, all left. All right, uh, these two on the right, yeah. It seems the kids are having great success and the dads are not having so much success. I don't even have a driving license. But this looks great. Come on guys, I think their teams need some encouragement. Let's give a cheer for our teams. Oh, and Luigi is fighting for seventh place. Oh, he's going at eight. Mario, he is being swapped. He's throwing, oh, Mario's at first. In second, he is fighting for that place between Capatuka and whoever else that should be. Can Mario ever make it across to the first? Koopa Troopa, oh, here we go. All right, so next dad joke of the day. <laughs> Reconfiguring. A slice of apple pie is two fifty in Jamaica and $3 in the Bahamas. These are the pirates of the Caribbean. The Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't think I can. Ladies so. and gentlemen, I regret to inform you that Kurt lost, which means an automatic win to Team Blue. <laughs> All right. Good game, ladies. Well, gentlemen, not ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> gentlemen, well done. Well done. So, yeah, we have, to, we have to do some inspection for sabotage. And while we're at it... <laughs> <laughs> so after today, we're going to be uh, we're going to have more Mario Kart, and then we're going to have games and all of that outside. So we welcome you to join us for a little bit afterwards. We're going to have more fun, and right now we're going to get into the Word of God. Is that all right? Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you, Andrew. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you, Kyle. <laughs>